After the tragic Air India crash in Ahmedabad that killed over 270 people, recovery teams are now turning to DNA identification. But why is it the best way to identify the victims? In high-impact crashes, bodies are often disfigured beyond recognition. Conventional methods like fingerprints or dental records often fail. That's where DNA profiling steps in. A small blood sample or bone fragment is matched with a sample from the victim's family, like a parent, child or a sibling. So how does this matching work? Our DNA is made up of sequences called STRs or short tandem repeats. These are unique in every individual. STR analysis is preferred because it's fast, cost-effective and works even with degraded samples. When STR isn't possible, scientists turn to enter DNA, useful when only maternal relatives are available. And why chromosome analysis helps trace male lineages? Latest SNP analysis looks at a specific genetic variation when DNA is too damaged. Even if the body is burned or decomposed, DNA can survive in teeth, bone marrow or deep tissues. India's Forensic Science Laboratory and NDRF teams are using these tools to restore identities. But with over 270 victims and limited samples, will science be able to name every soul lost?